top at five officials confirming it was an EF zero tornado that tore through Fort Lauderdale, sending sparks and debris flying. A terrifying twister lasting three minutes. And tonight we're getting a clearer look at the damage left behind. Local 10 Samir Nefsi is live in Fort Lauderdale with our top story. Samir. Laird and Sinella, so a meteorologist with the National Weather Service who's out in Fort Lauderdale today talking to residents, of course, surveying the debris caused by that tornado Saturday evening. As he mentioned, it was classified as an EF zero tornado. But thankfully, no injuries were reported. These things can hit very quickly, sometimes with little to no advance notice. And that certainly was the case in Saturday's weather event. There it is, right over there. This video shows the moment a twister touched down in Fort Lauderdale. Oh my. You can see the moment the twister caused sparks to fly in an apparent power surge. It's creating a fire over there. Robert Garcia with the National Weather Service says the cyclone was on the ground for about a mile and a half with a maximum width of 100 yards, reaching speeds of 80 miles per hour. The tornado uh, came down a little bit north uh, or around the, uh, the Yacht Club and uh, made its way uh, northeastward towards uh, the general direction of A1A. Blowing through areas like Rio Vista and Los Olas Isles. And we saw a lot of debris that was thrown around in these neighborhoods. You can see that debris off Southeast 25th Avenue, a fence bowed out a downed line in a massive uprooted tree. And this was a scene in the 1700 block of Southeast 10th Street, a power pole ripped from the ground. Take a look at this object tossed against the home, appearing to have caused minor damage, and this property along the intercoastal. Shattered glass and outdoor furniture tossed around. It's not terribly unusual. Maybe once or twice a year we'll see an impact uh, here in Broward County similar to this. All right, and back out here live now. Of course, those were some intense images yesterday of that tornado. The city of Fort Lauderdale said in a statement released yesterday that all of the damage appears to be minor. Again, thankfully, no injuries. But looking forward to Tuesday, uh, Robert Garcia with the National Weather Service says, of course, there is a possibility or potential for a strong storm system again. We're live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Samir Nafsi, Local 10 News.